Welcome back YouTube. Uh, heading down to Pittsburgh, Kansas to take my short hair right there, Dakota. Um, back to do a little training at John Prince Quality Gun Dogs. Uh, speaking of which, if you want a German short hair, um, John Prince down in Pittsburgh, Kansas sells a fabulous dog. Um, so we're stopping at McDonald's real quick. We're going to hit 69 Highway and head down south to Pittsburgh. Um, take Dakota to a day of training with John Prince and and always going to go along for the ride because God forbid I leave her at home, she'd be whining like crazy thinking we're going hunting. Uh, so one thing I wanted to talk about on the way down to Pittsburgh uh, to drop the dog off uh, for the additional training was the last YouTube video that we did um, we gave away a Casking Pro uh, or Casking Speed Demon Pro reel with the Casking Speed Demon rod. Um, so their second highest rod with their highest reel um, quality for this open face reel that they have currently. Um, they have another line of reels getting ready to come out here in March, uh, which is supposed to be like a 10 point eight to one or something crazy. Um, I was in the initial funding for that, so I'll get I think 10 of them um, to come in and I'll probably get one of those away too. Um, but that being said, I want to do another giveaway, so um, I don't know what requirements we're going to do yet, so I'm just kind of thinking about it on the way down to Pittsburgh. If you stay tuned in the video, we'll uh, have those requirements by the end of the video once I've thought them all out. So uh, we will be giving away another exact same model, Speed Demon Pro Rod, um, Speed Demon, I mean Speed Demon Pro Reel with a Speed Demon Rod um, from CastKing.com. Speaking of which, if you like those rods or want some, go order some stuff, you go to castking.com, uh, use promo code SPTBKC, and that saves you 10% off of every order, whether you're just ordering some braid, scales, um, gloves, whatever it is, or you need to order some brand new rods and reels. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, sun's coming up right now, going down 69 Highway. Got a pretty little sunrise coming over the uh, tree line over here by the power plant in Lacey. Um, so I'll stay tuned. Ultimately, I would really like to see us uh, over the next few drawings get to a thousand subscribers. So I think the next step is getting to 500. So for this rod and reel that we're giving away for this video, um, the Cast King Pro uh, Speed Demon reel uh, open face with a Speed Demon Pro or Speed Demon rod, um, I would like to see us get to 500 subscribers. So the contest is going to include. 500 subscribers so one of the first 500 I think our next drawing when we get to the try to get to the thousand subscriber mark should be something of huge value so we have quite a few sponsors I'm sorry my cameras the mounts adjusting there we have quite a few sponsors for the Kansas Bass Nation youth program um, but I think the next one thousand subscribers would make a lot of sense to get wholesale batteries involved. So I think for the thousand subscriber mark, which with that video will be coming up in the future, um, I would like to give away one of the new lithium batteries. I've got one in my boat, which is freaking phenomenal. Um, take it out for eight to 10 hours fishing and don't even use like seven to, it's probably seven to 17% on the average day. I think the worst day I've had when it was real, real, real windy and fished eight or nine hours. I hit the little digital readout on the top of the battery when I got done fishing that day, and it said like 83% or 81% or something like that. Um, and I didn't check it when I went out to even know if it was 100% full. So, but I know one thing is that battery is lasting a long time. I was having a lot of issues with the, I think I was running interstates, um, but I was having a lot of issues with batteries um, running my Garmin's and, you know, live wells and all that stuff. So, um, they just weren't lasting. So I switched to the lithium battery. Uh, I think it was October of last year. Uh, they come with a 10 year warranty um, and wholesale batteries is amazing about that. My digital readout quit working on my, um, my first lithium battery and they just swapped it out for a 
charge because it wasn't working properly. So it comes with a 10-year warranty. Uh, make sure you guys check out our sponsor, Wholesale Batteries, whether you need lithium, regular lead, lead batteries or whatnot. They, they sell everything from, you know, small car toy batteries to watch batteries to everything. Um, I know one buddy went down there and bought a couple, you know, Hot Wheel style Power Wheel cars for his kid and bought them off of eBay and Craigslist and stuff like that that weren't working and it was all battery issues. So he took it down there and they got them all taken care of. Oh, thanks for kisses, Dakota. Uh, it's got them all taken care of with some batteries and uh, they're just a great great group of guys and they really support fishing. They sponsor a couple guys here locally. Um, so check them out. They also sponsor Kansas Bass Nation. I'd like to take this time while I'm driving to talk to our anglers, our college anglers, high school anglers, and our junior anglers um, and their motor coaches um, or high school coaches, whatever it is. Um, when it comes to giveaways, I know in the past we've done just a very reasonable rod and reel combo for first place and then trophies for the top three um, we do have a sponsorship from balls out mounts for the state championship tournament um, the state championship for the college tournament the first place finisher first place finisher for high school and the first place finisher for junior uh, division will all get a balls out mount um, forget the retail value it's like a hundred and $75 each, um, just an extra little bonus. Uh, but the first place at every tournament, we've always done a rod and reel. So, what rod and reel do the majority of the kids want to win um, when it comes to, I know they were doing junior division, they were doing uh, open face, and for high school division, they were doing bait casters. Um, are the junior high kids wanting bait casters or should we just do a variety each time the tournament wins? You know, every other tournament we give away a different set of combos, or do we just keep it consistent so people can build their arsenal? Uh, when it comes to rods, uh, what's the most common rods you guys would like to see? I know me personally, the the casting jack or jig and worm rod seems to be the most versatile rod if you only were throwing one rod. Uh, but they have everything from spinner bait, crank baits, Carolina rigs deep diving crankbaits, square bills. Um, they have all kinds of different rods. So uh, I would love love for you guys to comment on uh, what you guys would like to see, where you guys would like to see the program go for prizes. Um, the whole reason why I went out and got some sponsorships was to be able to afford a little bit nicer prize for the kids. So um, with the help of Wholesale Batteries, my company, K Gardley Free Gutter Company, um, Bust and Lips donated uh, 90 bags. Or they're donating, I'm still waiting for them to the mail. Um, donating 90 bags of baits for the kids so we give those away to like second or third place depending on um, how the retail value of prizes go that we're giving away um, and in first place I'd like to give away nice rods and reels from Casking since they're our new sponsor I would just like to know which rod and reel to give away so please comment below what you would like to see if your kids won the tournament or if um, one of the college anglers or high school anglers want to comment on what they would like to be given um, and we'll go from there um, so I forgot one of our sponsors sitting here thinking about it I was going wait I have only named four or five sponsors on these videos so um, we have go through the list again so we have wholesale batteries we have Kgar Lee free gutter company which is my business um, we also have um, DW creative marketing so if you guys own a business or looking to get into like um, really branding a company or branding a, a brand. Um, he does everything from, you know, high-end TV commercials to um, to print, digital, you know, your Google AdWords, SEO, SEM optimization, stuff like that. So uh, look up Dave Weezer with DW Creative Marketing. Um, they're out of Overland Park, but they handle clients in Chicago, uh, Denver, um, me for Kansas City, and uh, they also hold handle big clients like Furniture Mall of Kansas as well, so which has locations in uh, Topeka and, and uh, in Kansas City or Olathe. So make sure you check out DW Creative Marketing, and then we also have Busting Lips, which is a little uh, homemade tackle store. Uh, they do homemade baits on Facebook for people. And then we have Balls Out Mounts, Balls Out Mounts, LLC.com, which they do um, custom boat mounts, whether it's your tablet, 
um, that you want to get mounted in your boat, cell phone mounts, or just your normal electronics. So uh, make sure you guys check out Balls Out Mounts as well. Um, and then obviously my business, Kegar Leaf Free Gutter Company. If you know anybody that's tired of climbing a ladder to clean their gutters, um, or your grandparents or somebody are getting old, parents are getting old, um, the older we get, the harder they fall is a saying, and it's very, very, very true. So uh, make sure you check out my company as well. And uh, stay tuned for the rest of the rules on the drawing. Alright, so the only way we're going to get to 500 subscribers is if people A, subscribe to this channel, and B, if people share this video so we can get to 500 subscribers and you do this giveaway. So make sure you like and subscribe, but also share this video on uh, your social media platform so we can hurry up and get to 500 subscribers so we can give away this rod and reel. Um, to be able to give it away, you must like and subscribe. You don't have to share, but it will help uh, get the subscribers up. And then for the giveaway, I need everybody to comment uh, in the comment section. And everybody that comments, um, whatever you comment, doesn't matter. You don't have to comment a number. Um, I'm going to assign numbers to each person that comments when we hit 500 subscribers. And then we'll give away the drawing. So it would be the easiest way to do it um, after thinking about it. It's, it's really hard to do. Where you guys pick a number and uh, you know people pick the same number and it makes it makes it impossible um, for people to scroll through 500 comments or however many people that comment so it might be 300 out of 500 subscribers and comments so everybody just comment um, before the drawing I'll go through and comment each person a number and then based on however many comments that will be your chance to win so if there's 300 comments I'll go through and assign one through 300 and then we'll do a random number generator to give it away on uh, Facebook Live and then share the video on YouTube. So if you want to see the live video, also follow our Facebook Live page, uh, which is facebook.com backslash KBNYF, which stands for Kansas Bass Nation Youth Fishing. So um, make sure you follow our social media platform as well. So uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, go from there. So I wanted to make a quick stop here as I'm waiting to uh, go to Pittsburgh, here in Pittsburgh, um, right between Fort Scott and Pittsburgh, just south of Bone Creek Lake. Um, there's a great little tackle stop um, called Albers Marine. Um, they do the Thursday night tournament here on Bone Creek. Uh, sorry, the dogs are getting antsy because we just stopped and they went out of the truck. But um, I wanted to give you give a shout out to Albers Marine for putting on the Thursday night tournament at Bone Creek. Uh, make sure you guys stop by here before the state championship for the high school and junior division um, and get any local tackle and, and talk to the guys about what's been going on. So check them out. So Albers is closed uh, right now. It's still early in the morning and I didn't even check their door hours. But uh, Albers is a great place to stop. Um, make sure you guys check out their Facebook page for the Bone Creek tournaments for Thursday night um, to kind of get you pumped on what you guys could be catching. So if you guys go to Facebook um, and go to, I think it's called Bone Creek Tournaments is the group name. Um, but check out the fish catches that are going on in there. Their Thursday night tournament um, was $10 a person, if I believe. Uh, I only fished it once last year just to come down and, and have some fun. But they do like a 19-inch minimum for their Thursday night tournament because there's so many good quality fish. Uh, they don't want to put pressure on the smaller fish bringing them to scale since it's just a one fish, one big bass fish tournament. So there's always like anywhere from 10 to 20, I would say. 19 inch plus fish being brought to the scale that they've even considered upping that to like a 20 inch range so uh, make sure you guys check out the pro or check out their facebook page and it gets you pumped and excited for the state championship um, and definitely make you try a little harder for the next two two tournaments to make sure that you qualify so i uh, look forward to the state championship and seeing some really nice bags um, turned in and we're almost to prince's quality gun dogs down here in pittsburgh to uh take dakota for her day of training I'm in half a mile, turn right onto Kansas 47 West. Sorry about the GPS there, but I might film a little bit uh, depending on what John is doing, if I'm allowed to stay around or not. So I don't know if he's wanting to keep her for a couple days or not. We haven't really discussed that. So, um, But yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully I can film a little bit of uh, hunting dog stuff, hunting dog training stuff. But uh, if not, uh, I'll do an outro and finish up the drawing rules.
So just finished up with a uh, morning training session at John Prince for Dakota. Um, and driving back through Pittsburgh, I realized, uh, or Alma, Kansas, I realized that Albers Marine is open. So we're gonna make a stop in now that they're open. All right guys, so when you guys come down for the state championship, Albers Marine is just north of the turn to Alma, Kansas, and just south of Bone Creek. Um, it's a metal building, um, looks like this in the background. Um, when you guys come inside, they've got uh, quite a bit of little tackle to choose from, so let me show you what's inside. Got a real good tackle selection for you guys' last minute tackle when you guys come down and figure out what they're biting on on practice day. You know, all your popular Z-Man, Nedricks, Guggenbaits, Zooms, Gene LaRue. Um, all your terminal tackle that you need. Kitex and Rage Tails. More terminal tackle. KVD plastics. Spinner baits, buzz baits, chatter baits. Um, I went ahead and bought some wiggle warts while I was here, so cleaned out some of those. Need a last minute rod or reel? They've got you covered. Stop by and see Roseanne and them at Albers Marine. All righty, guys, we're back in the truck, uh, leaving Albers Marine. Uh, one thing that I wanted to uh, point out, um, Roseanne was awesome, by the way, here at Albers Marine. So if you guys are ever down in this area, fishing Cedar Creek, Fort Scott, um, on your way down to Grand, uh, fishing Bone Creek, like we talked about for the state championship, make sure you guys stop by and talk to them and give them a shout out um, that you guys heard about us from Kansas Bass Nation. Um, one thing I did want to mention is they are having the Albers Marine 14th Annual Fishing and Hunting Show. Um, it's January 25th and 26th at the Memorial Auditorium and Convention Center in Pittsburgh, Kansas. Um, the show is going to run that Saturday and Sunday. Saturday is going to be 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, so there's going to be all kinds of different things on the floor from boats to um, off-road vehicles, taxidermy guns, new and used fishing tackle archery, uh, wood carvers food booths and many other vendors. Um, there's also going to be a local pro there named Chad Allison. Um, you can listen to his seminar on Saturday at 2 p.m. Chad has won the Costa FLW National Championship um, and a Costa FLW tournament, So, and he has plenty of other um, achievements. So, Plus, Kansas Bass Nation is going to be there for the kids' casting contest on Saturday from 10 to 2. So make sure you guys stop by and see the Albers Marine Show. Um, I will put a picture of the flyer in the video and also tag it on our Facebook page at uh, Kansas Bass Nation uh, Youth Fishing. So uh, make sure you guys stop and talk by, stop by, stop by and talk to Roseanne um, at Albers Marine. Right on the corner of East 60, 650 Avenue and 69 Highway, just north of Alma. Alrighty, everybody, we're on our way back to Kansas City. Uh, just left Albers Marine and after our stop at John Prince Quality Gun Dogs for a little bit of dog training for my short hair. Uh, make sure you guys, if you guys are looking for a German short hair, you guys check out John Prince's Quality Gun Dogs. And also, anytime you're going south, I would highly recommend stopping in and talking to Roseanne at Albers Marine. So, very, very nice people um, and very helpful when it comes to uh, questions about Bone Creek and stuff like that. Um, I've fished Bone Creek, Creek quite a few times um, and have never seen a lake map. She was nice enough to give me... Uh, an old topographical map that she has so I'm going to get that copied um, and uh, zoomed in on and then uh, sent out to all of our state championship qualifiers so uh, highly recommend stopping in and talking to Roseanne and Albers Marine um, I will see you guys on the back end So to close out this video, I uh, just wanted to remind everybody to please like and subscribe to this video and comment below. Uh, as soon as we get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away um, another Speed Demon Pro reel and a Speed Demon rod 
to one lucky commenter that has also subscribed to our channel, liked this video, and hopefully shared it. Sharing is not a responsibility for the drawing, but it would help us get to 500 subs. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can get to 500 subs quick and we can do the free rod and reel giveaway. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, see you later, Kansas Bass Nation. I was on my way home from Pittsburgh and decided to make a quick stop to check on my metal building here at Lynn Valley Lakes and um, make sure they drop my power pole so they can put my electricity in and um, decided to drive across the dam and how can you not stop to make a few casts so I stopped to make about 10 casts and I think it was on my third or fourth cast when I caught this one right here Stop to make sure they dropped the power pole at my shop at Lynn Valley Lakes on the way home from Pittsburgh. Caught me a nice little bass off the dam. It's a pretty pretty calm day, just three to five mile an hour wind, nothing to create any wake. And I just couldn't help myself. I had to stop and make a cast. So, finally got my first bass of uh, 2020. Uh, second attempt trying to get one. Was able to get it at my home away from home, Lynn Valley Lakes. Luckily they dropped the power pole so I should have electricity down here soon, um, which would be nice so don't have to worry about boats freezing and stuff like that. Um, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close out the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Please share if you can. Um, you'll get one entry into the contest if you comment, no matter however many times you comment. So uh, please enter the drawing, like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully you win the brand new rod and reel.